Do you know why the anime Violet Evergarden focuses so much on prosthetic hands and typewriters? There is a deeper layer to it, let me explain. Hi, I'm Father Roderick, I'm a priest and I'm a geek, and I'm here to share with you the deeper layers of the stories that you love. So many of you have suggested that I watch Violet Evergarden. At first the show surprised me. It was such a strange story and I couldn't tell where it was going or what it was trying to say. Violet Evergarden is about a young girl named Violet who used to be a soldier in a war. She now has two prosthetic arms with Terminator-like hands and after the war ends she starts working at a postal company where she writes letters for people who can't find the right words themselves. Through this job, she begins to learn about emotions and what it means to love, all the while trying to understand the last words that her mentor, Major Gilbert, said to her. Now, it's not the most action-packed story and it moves quite slowly, especially in the first few episodes. So why does the anime appeal to so many people? Violet Evergarden was originally a novel by Kana Akatsuki. She was inspired by how people express deep emotions, especially after tough times like the war. And she loved the idea of using letters to connect people, and she wanted to explore that in her story. Her observations of how people struggle to show love and sorrow helped shape Violet's journey from a soldier to someone who writes heartfelt letters for others. So, it's a story about transformation, which might be why it appeals to so many people. Because we too sometimes struggle to express our emotions or to understand the feelings of others behind what they show or say outwardly. But why focus on those eerie prosthetic hands and Violet's work at a company full of typists? Well, it's not just for a steampunk vibe there is a deeper symbolic meaning. By the way, if you're curious about my other explanations of popular anime series like Free Run, Vinland Saga or Neon Genesis Evangelion, I share them in my email newsletter from time to time. Check out fatherrodericcom slash anime for links to all my anime content. Violet's prosthetic hands remind us of her past as a soldier and also of the scars, both physical and emotional, that she carries from the war. She is gradually learning to use those hands, not for battle, but to type letters. At first she works almost like a robot producing reports, devoid of emotions. But she slowly learns how to reconnect her hands with her heart. And that is when her reports turn into heartfelt letters. You may have noticed that she changes the way she takes off her gloves. At first she uses her teeth and later she does it in a much more gentle way, using her other hand. Just that detail shows her progress in her struggle to reconnect with her humanity and learn to express emotions and love and tenderness, which she didn't understand before. The typewriters symbolize communication and the power of words. As an auto-memory doll, that's how these typists are called, Violet uses a typewriter to help people express their deepest feelings, connecting hearts and bridging emotional gaps. This is a big contrast to her past life of destruction and it highlights her journey from being a tool of war to becoming a messenger of peace and understanding. Together these elements highlight themes of healing, transformation and the profound impact of words and human connection. How does this anime series make you feel? Let me know in the comments and follow for more.